Hey everybody, welcome to Yeah Buddy. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to care for your Red Wing mocks. That's right, I just bought a pair from the Red Wing outlet in Red Wing, Minnesota. I guess it's the Red Wing store. And I'm gonna wear them today un untreated. Uh, it's a nice un rainy day, so I think I'll probably be okay. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of walking, but I'm gonna show you them before, and I'm gonna show you them after, and I'm gonna show you how to care for them. Let's go do it. Woo! All right, folks, day one walk is complete and the Red Wings are feeling fine, not too much wear. They really feel like walking on clouds. These are probably the most comfortable pair of Red Wings and uh, maybe shoes that I own, definitely boots, but uh, highly recommend it. Congratulations on your purchase of Red Wings or your continued ownership. Take those laces out before you even get started. All right, let me show you my, my kit, my survival kit, so to speak, the bare minimum. Red wing leather protector, mink oil, a clean cloth. I use an old t-shirt that's clean and then a boot brush. For each type of polish you use, you're gonna want a boot brush for them. I have a Cordovan boot brush. It's kind of that burgundy color. I also have the brown or neutral boot brush that you see here. And I also have the black boot brush, but I use the brown one for mink oil or neutral or I really don't have any browns, but uh, yeah. Anyway, you're gonna want a boot brush, separate boot brushes for each color that you have. All right, it's pretty clear what you do with the boot brush, but take those laces out, brush off all the dirt and debris. Even on a new pair of boots, you're gonna wanna get all of that dirt and debris out. And here's the secret trick. Get yourself a toothbrush to brush the welt. And on a new pair, and especially on a used pair, you're gonna wanna brush that welt, which is essentially the part of the, the leather or the boot that meets the sole. And what happens in here is dirt gets stuck in there and it can sit there and wiggle and wear away, almost like sandpaper on your boot for years and years. And this is something that I started doing over the last year due to an awesome comment on one of my previous videos. But if you don't get that dirt out of the welt or out of the nooks and crannies, it's gonna cause wrinkles and creases and it's gonna tear your leather and it's gonna reduce the longevity of your boots. All right, so before I said, get a clean cloth, make sure you have the mink oil. I use all the Red Wing products just because I know that they're recommended by the company for the leather. I know what's in them. There's a couple other products out there. Check out any of the other videos online. I'm sure that you can find some other products. Anyway, I wrap up the uh, soft cloth or t-shirt in my finger and just stick it in the mink oil and start applying. And depends on your boot, the type of leather and your preference, you can apply as much or as little mink oil as you want. Now on a new pair of boots, I would recommend applying a little amount of mink oil because the mink oil over time will darken your boots or has the at least the propensity to darken your boots and you might not want them dark. So if you just apply a little bit, it's going to, it will probably still darken the boots. But, um, you know, two things, you, you'll be able to control that that darkening and also some folks out there say if you know you put too much mink oil on your boot it uh, it can get a bunch of dirt and and debris and stuff in there and while i would i would agree with that if you do apply a lot of mink oil on your boot just you know make sure that you don't bring them out and start stomping around the streets until they're they're fully dry because you know you are right if you have some sort of uh, substance on your boot, things are gonna stick to it. So I have another video out there on uh, you know me polishing, or rather me applying mink oil to my Red Wing Iron Rangers. And I do apply a lot of mink oil to the Iron Rangers because I like, I like them a little bit darker. I like oiling them up and they're still going strong. I think I have three, four years in, so I haven't had a problem with applying too much mink oil on any Red Wings. My, uh, my dad, who was a Red Wing owner for his entire life, always applied a lot of oil to his boots. Uh, he wore mocks. Um, so I don't, I don't think you're going to end up with problems out there. I know I'll get uh, more flack in the comments section for my uh, liberal use of mink oil, but uh, that's my two cents. Anyway, you know, stick that finger 
in the mink oil, start spreading it around all over your boot. Make sure you get all the nooks and crannies, get the eyelets, get the heels, get as far down in the welt as you can with that uh, with that t-shirt. Here's another little neat trick that I don't show in this video, but I, I've heard and I guess from my time in the military makes makes total sense. Some folks will use a hair dryer or what we called it in the military to make it sound a lot cooler, which was a heat gun. Uh, so use your heat gun or hair dryer on your boot after you apply the mink oil. And I guess logically what's happening here is the heat gun or the heat rather is opening up the pores in your boot. It's heating it up, right? So it's spreading it out, making it open up a little bit. And it's also melting or causing whatever oil you've put on there to be less viscous and run inside any pores that might open up slightly better. And that's going to cause it to dry a little bit quicker. It's also going to allow your boot to absorb the oil a little bit faster and maybe a little more thorough. All right, again, let's bring out that toothbrush so that you can put the mink oil down on the welt. But you know what? If you don't have the toothbrush, it's not gonna it's not gonna kill you. Your boots aren't gonna explode. But I do recommend taking this extra step just to offer at least a little bit of extra protection and care over the long life of your boots. All right, I'm gonna speed up this part because I think you understand how to use a, a toothbrush. Anyway, here is the finished product with one boot. You can see on the right, I have the oiled boot. Looks like a beauty. And I'm gonna go about and do the same process with boot number two, and I'm gonna make it super fast because if you really want, you can just watch the first half of this video or the first portion of this video over again, and you'll get exactly the same idea as what I did. See, all right, already done with uh, boot number two. So we let the oil dry for around 30 minutes, an hour, depends how much oil you put on there again, and then just brush it out again. That's gonna smooth out any of the oil spots. It's gonna get rid of any dust or debris that might have blown on your boot over the, the drying period. And I don't know, I just do it out of habit at this point. Maybe it adds a little bit of extra shine or sheen to your boot. Alrighty, so we're all done with the Kind of the first or second step, so to speak, of the oiling process, and God, these boots look great. I'm really impressed with how they look after this first application of mink oil. Send me a message in the comment section below if you use more or less mink, mink oil, or if you like how these boots are looking. All right, so the last step is really after they've dried a little bit, use the leather protector before you go out. And this is going to Add another layer of protection from the elements, mainly water, above that which the mink oil provides. But wait, there's more. If you have any other Red Wing products, take a look at this video. And this video is me caring for my Red Wing Iron Rangers that I mentioned before. Thank you all for watching. Yeah, buddy.